It has been a cold week in Kelloland, but it could be worse. Meteorologist Grant Smith dug into the record books to see just how cold it can be this early in the winter season. It may seem like a long time ago, but it's only been two weeks since we saw highs in the 50s and 60s. This week, we've had highs in the 30s and 40s, and lows have been in the teens. So you could call it a cold week in Kelloland. But to help put things in perspective, it can be a lot colder. Earlier this morning, I spent some time in the record books, digging up some of the record lows from this early in November. Nine degrees below zero is the coldest temperature reported in Aberdeen and Sioux Falls during this week, and it happened during 1991. In fact, many of these record lows are below zero. Now compare that to Rapid City, where they only had one record low from this week below zero. Now we know we live in Kelloland, where temperatures like this are more common in the coming months, but it kind of caught me off guard to see lows this cold this early in November. And if you're just not ready for these super cold temperatures, the long range weekly computer models do bring back some warmer, above average weather into the Midwest for the second half of November. So there is hope for relief for those who just don't like cold temperatures. For Kelloland Weather, I'm meteorologist Grant Smith.